Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to do a review and first impressions on my Valentino Rock Stud Sandals. So I did wear these for Mother's Day and I want to tell you my first impression. I'm also going to talk about this pair. I've had these probably for about four years. I'll talk about these in comparison, and I do have just a small unboxing to share with you, among other things. So, if you want to hear all about my review and see what I have to show you, stick around. All right, guys, so where do we start? Oh, I was gonna show you something. I am trying to keep my videos under 20 minutes. I really do believe, I don't believe, I know by looking at my analytics that people They'll only watch about half of your video, if that. So, if I put up about a 20 minute video, according to my analytics, people will watch me for nine to 11 minutes. That's about it. So, <laughs> and that's just the way it is, you guys. So, when you are putting up a really super long video, you're wasting a lot of time. I mean, I don't know what your analytics say, but time and time again, for the last five and a half years, my videos, have shown that, number one, most of the people that watch me are not subscribed, so please subscribe and join my fam jam here, you guys, because we have a lot of fun, but also, I don't wanna put out a lot of unnecessary work. It takes a lot of time to edit, more than actually filming the video, a lot of time and effort, and I want to put out really good videos for you guys, but at the same time, I don't want to cause myself a lot of undue work. So I bought this little egg timer off Amazon. It's a little ladybug. I've always had a thing about ladybugs. How cute is that? So I don't wanna go over 20 minutes, so I'm gonna set it right at 20 or right before 20 minutes. And when it gets close to dinging, I'm out of here, you guys, because I have a, you know, I have a tendency to yap a lot. <laughs> so yeah, Oops. I got this cute little thing. It's my little helper. All right, guys, so before I get started, I've got a lot going on this week. So my son, my youngest son, does that, can you hear that ticking? I'll put it over here. Maybe it won't be so noticeable. So my son is getting married Saturday. You guys, I bought a dress when I went to the beach. I thought I was set. Uh, my daughter thinks that it's overkill. She thinks it's too dressy. Then I ordered another dress and she says it's underkill. I cannot win, you guys. <laughs> My daughter wants me exactly the way she wants me. She called me on the phone and said, be ready at 9.30 in the morning. I'm coming to get you. We're going to the mall. I said, well, okay. So, going dress shopping again, but I'm not worried about it because I already have a dress. So, the wedding is Saturday. Rehearsal is Friday. And then next Tuesday on the 21st, we're going to Birmingham because Keith has his pre-op visit. They're going to talk more to us about what's going to happen. And then somewhere after that, he's going to have surgery. So yeah, you guys, we've had a lot going on. <sighs> life, life, slow down. I feel like I'm on just a roller coaster, you guys. And I got up today. I was going to paint. I ended up over at my aunt's house and spent most of the day with her. But I had a great time. It's my mom's youngest sister. So I'm just actually enjoyed the day, had a nice slow day for a change. I had some things to do pre-wedding, but yeah, that wedding, I will, I'm not gonna be vlogging, <laughs> but I'll be taking pictures and I'll share some of it with you guys. All right, so before I get started again, this is my bag of the week. I may carry it tomorrow, I'm not sure, but I took this on Mother's Day. I had a pink dress. I will just insert a picture of my daughter and myself on Mother's Day. She went to church with me and we went to church with my mom's middle sister. And so we wanted to surprise her. And this is the, the bag that I carried, you guys. I love this bag. Keith bought me this bag when we were in Miami last year. And it's just a beautiful bag. I've never done any kind of a video on it but maybe I will. If you're interested, let me know. But Marc Jacobs, even though this is my only bag, is one of my favorites. I'm, I'm really craving some Marc, J Marc Jacobs shoes that I saw on the website, but this is a great bag. And they also have a large size, but I think this is like the medium size and that beautiful kind of a neutral pink. So that's my bag of 
the week. And I also have an unboxing, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then talk about my Valentinos because when I sh did my birthday video, I had quite a few people ask me if they were comfortable. So I thought I would go ahead and address that for you guys. All right, when I edit this video, if I hear that ticking, I'm gonna have to put the little ladybug on the opposite side of the room. <laughs> but we'll, we'll, we'll muddle on through this time. Okay. So, I'm going to start out with an unboxing and their shoes, and I have been really getting into some shoes. I do things, I like get into things, even food. I eat certain foods at certain times, and right now, I am into shoes. Ever since I got these, I've been wanting more shoes, and... This is a pair that I got from Amazon, and it came in this rather crushed up box here, but they're super cute. I will show you the ones that I got last year. Instead of Dior, I got these, okay? I will link the stuff if I can find them. These are so comfortable. They say Paris. This brand here, I got my true size, size 8 so super comfortable. I've always loved the Dior slides, but I don't I don't love the Dior slide price. So hey, I got these and they're so comfortable. I've worn them quite a few times. So I got some similar, but let me show you this pair. The only thing is I kind of made a mistake. Wait, I'll show you. Okay. So they come in these really weird looking cheap dust bags. <laughs> And I don't really know how much they were, I can't remember, but I'll try to link them. These have a heel. Let me take them out of, the, let me take this one out. Anyway, I kind of wanted some because I've been attending church and I need some new shoes. Well, I don't need them. <laughs> That's a lie. I wanted some new shoes. You know, more stylish shoes, because I have shoes in my closet that I've had for 20 years. And I've been purging my closet and organizing everything, you guys. And yeah, I have shoes that I just really need to toss out, and I have. But anyway, this pair, it also says Paris, but they're more black. I will just show you this other pair. These are, you know, kind of lighter, but I think they have other shoes that say something else besides Paris and underneath they're a bit different but I got these to wear with shorts to wear with leggings skirts whatever you know a casual look but I wanted a pair with the block heel so I just got these I can't remember how much they cost maybe 30 40 bucks at the most and I just think they're really cute not too high and I tried them on already and I got the size 38 and they fit perfectly. There's all kinds of shoes that look similar to this, like Dior. <laughs> and you can find them and I would buy a Dior pair. I would not buy a Dior pair like this, but maybe a dressy Dior pair, I would. And I would love to have some Dior shoes. Maybe sometime like the ones with the ribbon on the side, but. Anyway, I'm getting off track, but these are very kind of bendable and very, the footbed is very, look at that, very, very soft. So these are the kind of shoes that I could wear, you know, for a really long time. And the first pair I got are as well. So I went ahead and got this second pair and yeah, cause I'm just, I love shoes. You guys, I love bags. I love sunnies and I love shoes. I also love lipstick. Those are the things that I love. <laughs> but anyway, guys, yeah, I will link them below and you can check them out and see all the different styles that they have. Okay, so the first pair of Valentinos that I ever got, I probably got about, probably about five years ago, close to it. So it's just that classic pair they're beautiful and they don't have a really tall heel. You can get them in all different heel, you know, sizes. This is about what, an inch and a half, but this is the perfect size for me. They still look really dressy, really nice. And I went ahead and got this kind of a pinkish nude color, they're patent. And I've worn these quite a bit. 
and they still look really good. My daughter's worn them, I've worn them, and you guys, they're super, super comfortable. And these are a size 38 and a half. Oh, okay, I thought they were 38. So actually my new ones are a 38 and a half as well. So maybe size up a half an inch, I don't know, try them on, don't, don't take my word. But anyway, these are a 38 and a half, but I've worn them quite a bit and they're gorgeous, you guys and I love them, but most of all, they're super comfortable, and you know, the heel is perfect for me. It doesn't pinch my toe, it does have a, you know, a point here, but I can wear taller heels than this, I just choose not to. Hey, back in the day, I used to buy me some Jessica Simpsons and rock those with those big platforms and a heel about like that, Now I don't think I could pull that off anymore, but I can pull off about a two inch heel, no problem but these are so comfortable. A few years later, I was shopping at a place called Unclaimed Baggage and I found some for half off and I bought those, but they were too small and I ended up giving those to my daughter. But sometimes you really can find Valentino Rock Studs like half off different places, you know, online, but I have been looking for this particular pair for half off or just even some kind of a discount. I've looked for months, you guys, and when Keith took me shopping, I knew that this is what I was gonna get. These are a 38 and a half. So these are so comfortable and so, so cute. And I can wear these with dresses. They're not quite as dressy as the first pair that I showed you. I would, I, I'm definitely gonna get more Valentino Rock Studs. They are my all time favorite shoe for when you're dressed up a bit. Now, these, of course, are more casual. You can wear them with a little sundress. You can pretty much wear these with anything, whereas this pair here is just kind of a dressy, really pretty dressy look. But with these, you can wear them with shorts, little skirts, sundresses, and I think it's really cute. And of course, we did pay full price, but as I was saying, I have looked online a lot of different places for you know a discount for these shoes but the problem is I wore, wear a very average size I wear a anywhere from seven and a half to eight and a half I'll just say that so I wear a very average size and anytime I would find some at a really great discount they were sold out in my size you could find like a really small size or maybe a size 11 and so I was just determined to get them and that's what I told Keith when we went to Atlanta I said I'll just get those shoes that I want if you really want something bad enough and you've looked and I really feel like I really I spent a lot of time looking for a discount just go ahead and get them because you won't regret it. I have heard Melissa Wade Adams, and I will link her channel below. I really enjoy her channel. I have heard her say many times, I believe she has this exact same pair, that they are well worth the price, and they are. Now, they are close to $1,000, but if you love designer looks, if you are into designer, now some people would say, that is absolutely crazy. I totally understand that. If you love the designer look, just go for it. Just buy the shoe, you guys. We only live once. <laughs> I am through defending myself. In the beginning of my channel, I would get comments or even comments from family or even friends like, I can't believe that you spent that kind of money. You know what? It's my money and it's my life, and you only go around once. Why am I going to this rant? But I just, <laughs> I just wanna say, if you want the shoe, buy the shoe. Of course, try to find it half off if you can get it, but if you can't find it and you really want the shoe, buy the shoe, okay? And I'm thrilled to have them, and I agree with Melissa. If you're watching Melissa, these shoes are worth every single penny because I can see myself pulling these out time and time again, pairing them with just about anything, well, not what I'm wearing today, but, you know, lots of different little outfits, and I'm just thrilled to have them in my collection. All right, guys, so, <laughs> I didn't mean to go on a rant. I just get tired of people and their opinions. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just... I just get tired of, the, of that kind of stuff, you guys. If I have something, if I'm thinking something negative about somebody, and I do, I'm only human, I just keep it to myself, you know what I mean? But anyway, enough of that. 
But before I let you guys go, I do want to share with you this beautiful necklace and I've shared it with you before. And it is my Read Your Heart beautiful Moissanite necklace. You guys, in person it is so sparkly and if you notice it is Starry Night. That is my favorite artist, uh, Van Gogh, and my favorite painting. Well, one of them. <laughs> I'm like with art, with handbags. It's my favorite, it's my favorite painting, it's my favorite bag. But anyway, and I also have the earrings. So I will link all this below and I do have my code YOTA15 if you wanna buy anything off their website, you guys. I'm obsessed with their website and I'm hoping to get a tennis bracelet off that website. But anyway, you guys, the purpose of this video was really to share with you that yes, these are very, very comfortable. I had quite a few questions about them. If you buy these, maybe size up a half a size, try them on as I said earlier, but I don't think you, you would regret it because these more than this pair, and I love this pair, I think that most people, I know I will get a lot more wear out of these. And yeah, cost per wear, I'm sure that I will be wearing these for years to come and enjoying them. These have been in style and I don't see them ever going out of style. And I just like my style. Like, you don't have to follow the trends. Just follow your own likes and dislikes, okay? So that's my little bit of advice today. But you guys, I'll be back on Saturday. Well, on Saturday, I will have a video pre-recorded. Uh, I do have an unboxing Saturday, but Saturday is the wedding. It's the big day, you guys. Baby Drew's parents are getting married and he's gonna be adorable and I will take a lot of pictures and maybe put together a photo slide video. Anyway, you guys, that is all I've got for you today. Hope everybody's having a wonderful week. Don't forget to subscribe. Join my fam jam here, you guys. We have a lot of fun here. I've been showing you a lot of really cool things because, you know, Know, I'm on some kind of a spending kick you guys I don't go to Ban Island you know a lot of <laughs> a lot of youtubers these days they're going to Ban Island I went there and I really I couldn't I couldn't deal with it you guys so why am I getting so close I have a no makeup I need to stay far away you guys oh that's better but anyway no Ban Island on this on this channel all right I don't unbox like crazy I do a lot of reviews and if you have any requests, if anybody has a request, please let me, please let me know. So that's it for today. I'll see you guys on Saturday with another video. Peace.